Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to my home studio, and welcome to Shred 2. Uh, last week, I left you with the instrument in this stage. Underneath this flashy gold monstrosity of a finish is a lot of very attractive stain. And uh, today, we are going to take it from this, which I'm not going to call it ugly. This guitar has good bones, after all. Uh, we're going to take it from this to something spectacular, I hope. Anyway, here's how we got you. Wow, much sadder. Burn it. Today, the fun begins. Ha <laughs> ha, yay! Alrighty, 320 grit, and let's have at it. That is gonna be so, so pretty. It's happened, we're fine, it's all good. Uh, I need to apply more stain over the top of this, but this guitar is fulfilling its potential. I have not hidden too much of this wood. I've enhanced it, I think. I mean, I judge my life by what you think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. That being said, the colors are a little bit muted and a little bit, um, you know, obviously I have sanded it back in order to rub back the gold. I am gonna be applying a very dry coat of stain to lift it all up again and bring it back. And uh, this is hopefully not going to flood too much into the gold. We, we should still see the gold coming through in the grain filler. Um, but it's gonna make everything vibrant and then we can start applying uh, lacquer, etc. I do need to also, at this stage, stain the maple sections in the back of the neck. We're nearly there, nearly there.
I'm back with Nebula. Welcome to my home studio and welcome to Shred 2. Shred 2. Shred 2. I do two builds at a time. Every week I've got a kit guitar and a scratch build going. It keeps me excited. I have not stopped thinking about this build. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really, really, really happy. Uh, so I took a couple of day break to work on Shred and I'm reinvigorated. I think there's a little bit too much yellow on this, on this one maybe. I'm gonna mix a custom sort of lighter shade of purple to adjust that. The next stage is to sand down the whole neck and start staining these stripes. I'm gonna mix up some custom stain. We have phthalo blue, which I like very much. A drop thereof and some purple. That's a nice little color. And I wanna have some of the yellow saved, but not much of it. Three hundred and twenty grit. Yes, it never doesn't feel naughty uh, using scissors to cut sandpaper. Hell, it feels naughty cutting paper with scissors. And this is just a case of sanding down the the neck again, getting in all the corners. So you saw that I didn't mask that off last time. I've answered a bunch of questions about that. I don't tend to mask off necks. Uh, I probably should, it's, it's just a habit I'm not in. Uh, if you, I got some stain in places that I didn't want it to go. And uh, I'm gonna sand it down. Everyone who thinks I've ruined this, again, click the like button. <laughs> what do you think? 
Do you think I'm done yet? Of course I'm not done yet. Not happy. I thought it would be fun to sort of fake a kind of a burly look. Uh, it just looks like a fake burr. So I'm going to sand that back and just have a little burst like that. What I'm going for with this guitar is subtlety. I think the binding is not quite subtle enough. We have this classic design. That still needs to be sanded back a little bit, it's a little bright. But then we have this exposed, bright, white, golden line of binding. It's just too loud, I think. What do you think? Too loud, yeah? I hope so. Let's stain it. So I need to round over the edges of the fretboard just a little bit for comfort. I also haven't uh, done the fret ends yet. Okay, do you know what? We're done. This is it for now. Come on then. All right, you beauties. Uh, I think that camera might be at a funny angle. I 
I think I might be calling it a week here. No, no, I'm not going to call it a week. Fine. I'm coming back tomorrow. It's late at night. It's at that point of time where I might be tired enough that I'm going to make a horrendous mistake. Cheers. I am going to round the fret ends over and fine sand and round over the edges of the fretboard. I am then going to stain them and then We'll see. I'm not sure if you're going to actually see some lacquer hit this guitar this week or not. Who knows? I mean, at this point, I know Talitha knows, but you don't. Uh, good night. See you in the morrow. So in order to get the perfect fret ends, you need the perfect fret end finishing file. And of course, Crimson provides just that. We've got uh, two surfaces, one flat edge and one uh, gently rounded, both polished and uh, such that you're not going to damage your fretboard. You start by nicking the corners off, uh, holding the flat edge down up against the fretboard and rounding the, the end of the fret over. And then with the curved edge, you twist it over and you then round it over. I said the words round over twice, but you're obviously watching me do this and thus understanding what I am too inept with my words to describe. A little bit of sanding, and you're done. So happy with how this guitar is turning out. Uh, like, just so be happy. I mean, you've seen all of this.
and this is going to be a million times better under lacquer just like a million And I need to tidy up the edges just a little bit. But that, that's that guitar made. I hope you agree. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please click like, subscribe, hit the notification button, uh, you know, all of that good stuff. And uh, you'll see more. Well, maybe not quite like this. But you'll see more. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, c I could keep talking for hours. I do on the live streams, trust me. But I think I'm done for now. There's a few patches I've spotted just through this that uh, around the head socket needs a little bit more work, a little bit more stain, a little bit of tidying up, but essentially we're there. Uh, next week I'm going to make the bridge. I'm going to uh, cut the nut slot to make sure the nut's in, in position and fit the nut. I'm going to maybe even custom make some uh, tuner knobs. Well, I mean, it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? And, uh, and then, well, we'll see. You might just see it with lacquer on. Maybe.